Hello everyone, here you are listening Bipin Kumar and today's topic is 3 rules that every one should learn to crack ICR, GRF, NET, ERS or any other exam. If you see the, any exam like other GRF, NET, ERS or any other, this will have the 3 important component of the preparation. First is your right selection of the book, other is order of reading books and third is persistently with the time duration so these three important uh, we can say the rules we should follow and focus if we are going to prepare for the any exam so I will start from the first right selection of the book if you are uh, preparing for the ICR GRF net ARS so you can go my last video and there I have given the list of the different uh, books of the different group by the successful candidate of the uh, ARI and and if you are not then if you are preparing for other exams so i'll suggest you you go in your locality if, if you are staying in the hostel you first of all the consult with the, some successful candidate in your locality or in your hostel he will give you the list of the book and many time we approach the, some institution or coaching institution those are giving the coaching of a particular exam so they will provide you the list of the book and this is really a very important step because most of the students they stagger here and there for find out a right book to read for the competitive exam so second is order of reading books actually when we purchase a lot book a lot of the book so sometimes it is very tough how we will start which book we should read first and which we, we uh, book we should start later so here I will follow the I will say you that you should go through the two approach one is the forward approach other is the reverse approach forward approach is saying that means you have to go according to the syllabus and syllabus will have different units like a b c d and you should read this syllabus very thoroughly one two three time as per your understanding understanding level and then what you have to do you have to correlate with the, uh, this unit with the listed book suppose a book is covering your all unit so this would be your the prior book means first book you should start from here and this will be the very important book for you in the same way if suppose some book is covering three unit that will come at a number two and in this way some book will cover only two units so this will ranked at a second yeah sorry third but what will what we will find that some book are listed and that will give the some coverage of a some unit like C and D so you should not read this book thoroughly you should go and read the content what what is matching in this book so I'll suggest you don't go to read thoroughly this whole book you should focus only the point the keyword those are matching with from this C or D or sometime B unit in this D book so this will be the your uh, order and ranking on how you can order the prioritize the your reading of the book and second is saying uh, is the reverse approach this approach is saying that means you have to go according to the question paper means here you have to take at least uh, 10 year of the question paper and after the analyzing the 10 year of the question paper you will find that the different units they will cover the different portion of the frequency of the questions like a is uh, asked 25 to 35 percent many time and B unit is covering 15 to 20 percent of the asked question during 10 year and the same way it is and this so after the conclusion analysis of that you will realize that which unit is the very important and after the realizing that unit you must correlate this unit with your book and you should focus on that book very intensely so here I have given you the two way one is the forward approach and the reverse approach in this way you can find out the importance of the book and ranking of the book 
and third principle is persistency with the time duration here i have given the two x and y bar hours of reading and duration time every exam having their own duration of the preparation suppose we take the example of the grf or years here two years is the a i have taken the two year is the means proper duration optimum duration by uh, analyzing or by calculating the success rate of average or intelligent and below the average students so here i have taken the two year so many time what happen the student or uh, three um, many uh, three type like uh, some student they started their preparation at early stage very at a very high reading means 10 to 12 hours reading at a few month and immediately going before one year they drop out means they quit the exam so this is the case of more than 50% student do like that so what is the sign of successful student suppose you are a average or below average so you have to read 9 to 10 hours at a early stage and it will take near about one year to coverage of the whole syllabus after that you can reduce your reading hours like six seven hours up to the uh four five month but when uh, whenever exam will come you have to immediately increase your reading hours as per your the strategy means how you can cover and it is depend on your reading ability understanding ability of that and how you made your own notes it is depend on the individual to individual so it, this is the case of the average student and below average student but few of the students those are very intelligent and their background is very high uh, at uh, primary level because they belong to the family those are very well educated so they start they started their preparation six to seven hours at a, from the early and they also taken one year for the completion of the whole syllabus and again they can reduce their time up to five to six hours reading or uh, after the coverage of the syllabus because per continuation in uh, continuous reading is the very important for the cracking any exam so you should be continuous not quit okay now and at a later stage when the examination come at a near they also start to increase their reading hours so these were the two sign up the two successful candidate how they persistently stick with the time duration and they are able to crack the exam in two hours uh, two years or two and half year so this way you should stick this principle you should not quit as early your level your preparation should be continuous because every exam having their own incubation period after that only you can make a good result and i re request you all you should follow this what i suggested you you can also make your own strategy for apart from this so these were the some basic component for the cracking any exam it is needed so what i suggested here if you like then you can share it on your uh, facebook and twitter and for more information regarding the agriculture and related this video you can follow me on or uh, like my facebook page dr vipin kumar you can also uh, follow me on my twitter agro vipin iri and for the more video and the future you can subscribe here you will get many more video in the future thank you for watching my video and good luck